these are the basically the controls of what we can do here both controls but you see they are moving as not as one single like not as points but multiple as one single entity and the problem is caused by that is if you take a look at how many vectors we have we have only one vector right since we use the mass addition here but we are moving four different vectors meaning sort of four different points meaning we are using these as like one vector for four points that's why they are moving all over the place but if we graph this tree and if we use this as our body lines now what we are going to see is obviously we don't see anything yet you see we have sort of a distortion over here right and that distortion is caused by yeah you see it's really like this distortion is caused by the numbers the numeric values that we are putting in and if we this time like they're moving as one single like as multiple points but if we put this into a trim tree in which we cut you see we are having all these points for just now i'll just simplify this okay and you see they are these four points belongs to the same kind of index or same path so if i put this in and if i pull this down what i'm going to see they are creating my vertices so if i press this as it is okay and if i craft this the problem is now we are having the same numeric values for the same uh, guys, so if I grab this, if I first take this one and because we are supplying three values, one values instead of three, if I grab a gene pool, gene pool is a component where we use as a multiple slider. So if I edit this, ranging between one and ten hundred, and we have only three, and let's randomize this. I'll show how this moves as well. And let's do the same thing, gene pool, for this guy. And what I'll be doing, edit this, maximum is going to be a thousand. Uh, I don't know, like maybe more, even. And let's have it as three as max. Randomize this as well. And when we put this guy in, okay, our problem still continues and the problem that we are continuing having is caused by now you see this is now going here but this uh, this is not going here so the vector and the points that we're using are not working in in sort of an essence and if i connect this guy over here as my vector so let's have some space here let's have some space here yeah, obviously let's group this let's group this and what i'm having is now having all these points in a different kind of sizes and if i increase this you see it's changing that much why yeah due to this guy and this is sort of our commanding point of the distortion in the grid okay and these are probably too big so if i make it smaller we'll have it be the large values and what i can do here i can put a point list so that i can always trace which point is corresponding to which slider in our gene pool so let's say 10 to here okay. oops and what i'll be doing next is adding these two groups all right so what we are going to do next is keeping this this is our plots now so what we can say is we can group this in a different color and put it as red so and also make it really like and what i'll be doing now you see like each plot has sort of a offset or scale inside and how we can do that we can visit an old friend which is called graph mapper here i think it might be a good way to uh 
uh, play around with the options and what we can say is based on the distance that we are having to the area of these body lines and we can have our points in where is our point so this is my point why I don't grab another point input put it here put it here push this down a little and copy another point sort of creating a data highway and use it over here and if we grab the distance between these points and these points we can use that to scale things in and out right and if you put the scale in oh sorry if we grab the distance here with this one and this one these three and this we can grab the distances and based on these distances but why don't we like use closest point as we always do closest point so this is our point this is the cloud so we have one distance per all and what we can do here is to go to math uh, bounds because we'll be remapping the distances, right? So remap numbers. So I'll be remapping these values between one and zero. So I'll be flattening this. And my target is gonna be, since it's gonna be zero and, uh, it's gonna be zero and one, right? I can use this as my map value and this is probably giving me some results between 0 and 1 yeah so this can change obviously but one thing I want to point out here if I grab the scale here so this is the geometry that I wanted to scale so why don't I grab a curve has to use another like data highway here and grab another curve that are, they are the same connected over here and grab a point connected over here and that is going to be our centers right the factor might be changing right so if i put this in now i need to preview couple of things off preview all this off you see I am sort of changing the scale so the larger ones get get smaller the smaller one gets larger it's completely intuitive you can just play around with this you know you can do the other way around the one thing to discover here if you like let's say you if you're using a parabola okay in parabola what this means you can exclude or you can overgo like you can go over the limits because now we are ranging with on one point something something which we don't really want to avoid that we go to math and under math under maybe util we grab a minimum and we'll say okay minimum is going to be 0.9 so if I connect this over here it's going if it exceeds 1 it's gonna go and be 0.9 if I connect this over here we whatever you do here okay whatever you do it won't be able to go larger than oops somehow it goes because now it's basically doing the uh, zero one. I mean, you can alter this, but let's leave it as it is for now. Obviously, you can come up with uh, like any any other any other one, right? So, sign. Not sure why it's yeah. It's probably somewhere it goes to zero. So maybe I can increase this a bit to avoid it you know so or do the other way around 
decrease this, decrease this based on the sizes and the locations. So it's completely, again, up to you, how of you play around with these kind of things. But that's pretty much it. So I'll be also making sure uh, this is an important part and this is completely important. Therefore, I'll be making a group of all this and making it into a white group. I'm not putting the tags on. I don't want to lose time uh, with this. So if I now switch this, now what we are going to have, we have this and we'll be building on top of it in the next video.